For some, it's hard not to worry hearing these recent headlines. The hospitals nearing capacity, COVID cases reaching numbers we haven't seen since last December. But our Christina Laurie explains why Dane County doctors say this surge in COVID cases is different than what we saw last year in a good way. I know this has been a long road. If Governor Evers wasn't wearing such a distinct mask, it'd be hard to differentiate today's public health briefing from one held last December. The governor and chief medical officer used all of the key phrases, herd immunity. We don't speak of herd immunity as a magic number where COVID will go away. COVID fatigue. I know we're all tired and ex uh, tired and experiencing COVID-19 fatigue. And it's getting hard not to feel, well, fatigued. But local doctors say that while all 72 counties are experiencing high transmission and record hospitalizations right now, people living in and around Madison should feel relatively safe because we know a lot more about the virus than we did last year. We know now that number one, it mutates and that you know, it's going to be more of an endemic type of infection than a pandemic. We now have those monoclonal antibodies that you uh, hear about that we're giving, and, and they're very effective in mitigating a lot of the severity of the disease, and that now uh, you know, there are some oral therapies that are probably going to be coming out after the first of the year as well. While COVID cases have increased nearly 50% in Dane County over the past two weeks, hospitalizations have increased 10%. Doctors say that percentage could be much higher if three quarters of the community hadn't already received at least one shot. Again, more importantly, we also know that the vaccines are uh, they're, they're, they're effective and even with the Delta variant, they're very effective. If they don't stop total transmission, they clearly sh you know, slow down uh, the severity of the illness. According to DHS, people who are unvaccinated are five times more likely to get COVID, 11 times more likely to be hospitalized, and 15 times more likely to die. So we know a whole lot more now than what we did say a year ago with our first major surge. We cannot give up now. Reporting in Madison, Christina Laurie, News 3 Now. The doctors say the rise in hospitalization is still a concern across the state. In Brown County, where 20% fewer people are vaccinated, Green Bay hospitals had to turn away several dozen people this week because they were at capacity.